Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen, and today we are gonna talk about having a dog and bringing home your baby and how those two worlds come together. So yeah, I'm excited to talk about this. I love dogs, I love our dog, Henry, and um, I'm excited to share our journey that we went through with him and are currently going with him with our six month old and um, our dog. So let's get into it. So I wanted to make this video because I am a first time mom to our baby Mac, but before Mac came along, I also considered myself a mom to our dog, Henry and along the video I will insert video clips of him and then also of our baby Mac and I just wanted to share a little bit about our journey because um, if you are pregnant right now or you recently just brought home your baby I know when I was pregnant I was really curious worried excited didn't know what to expect about their relationship and what it would be like, how Henry, our dog's world, would change, um, if he would accept the baby. There's all these different emotions that are going on and I definitely think that it's important to share people's different experiences and their stories and so I wanted to share ours. So yeah, for, I guess first what I wanted to talk about was I know we've all seen them. You can easily find them on the internet. All the, those really cute videos of parents bringing home their baby for the first time in their car seat and they're walking through the door and their dogs come up and they're licking the baby and they're so excited. And you know, you're like, oh my God, this is so cute. This is amazing. And you kind of have this fantasy or this vision in your head of what it's gonna be like when you bring home your baby and introduce them to your dog and um, at least that was for myself that's what I had going on so um, for us that was not our experience and it's kind of funny I was just talking to my husband about it today and I was telling him I was gonna film this video and I was saying that it's funny that we don't actually have any video of when Mac, or when Henry, our dog, met Mac, our baby, for the first time. And because I obviously would show you guys, but <laughs> there isn't any video of it. And it's funny, I was saying to him, I wonder why, why did we not film that? You know, just for ourselves. I think we were honestly just, we were saying that, I think we were just super exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> after the ho everything and coming home from the hospital. I think that's why we kind of were just in survival mode of, you know, we didn't even think of it. And it's funny, I remember what happened, but I do wish we had the video. So, um, but I will try to explain the best as I can. So it definitely was not any sort of magical fantasy moment. Essentially, Henry was just super excited to see us. He missed us and we missed him when we were in the hospital. I went into the hospital on a Friday and we didn't get back till a th the following Thursday. So we were gone for about almost a week and he was staying with my parents. It was interesting. We, of course, were like, oh, here's the baby. And, um, you know, what do you think? You know, talking to our dog. And he was just really into seeing us, really excited to see us, and was almost ignoring the baby. Um, and that kind of continued for a few days. He was kind of a little freaked out, to be honest. He didn't want to come over and see the baby if we kind of tried to bring the baby over to him to say, oh, you know, look, Henry, what do you think of the baby? Um, he would kind of just, you know, run away <laughs> and run into another room. And so it's interesting because um, making this video, I it's kind of bringing back a ton of memories of, you know, when I was pregnant, uh, even though it wasn't too long ago, but you kind of, everything's just happening so fast, you kind of, all that 
old information is being kind of backlogged into your mind and you kind of forget. And uh, I remember when I was pregnant, you know, um, Henry was really sweet. He was very into me and would always put his head on my belly. Actually, you know what I wanted to do also is to explain a little bit about Henry so that you have an idea of him. So Henry is two years old and he is the sweetest, most gentle, kind dog, very happy, super energetic and um, very excited, gets very excited. You having fun, Henry, with Max toys? Loves people. Um, he's a Keyshawn. They're not super popular. They're pronounced Case Sound. Um, but I will put information, a little bit of information, down in the description about them that breed. Um, we're not worried at all about introducing Henry to our baby, but I guess we were more just super excited and. Um, yeah, they originate from Holland. They're big, fluffy, puffy dogs. They have a ton of fur. Um, we spend a lot of time at the groomers, but it's definitely worth it, and we love him. He's definitely a part of our family, and as I said, I always you know, think of myself as a dog mama also. Startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. The time has gone on and so as I said before my baby now is six months almost every month we saw a little bit of change almost progress in their relationship at first Henry was in the ignoring phase and then he became the kind of interested would sniff a little then run away <laughs> and then he sort of that sort of evolved into um, lingering a little longer, maybe sitting down next to the baby, or he would be in his swing, he would lay down next to him. I have a cute video of that I can insert. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the ground. Just recently, um, started to really kind of connect with Mac, which has been a really fun thing to witness and experience and see their journey together. As Henry has warmed up to Mac, Mac has become a lot more aware of his surroundings and who people are and what things he loves to do. And um, Henry is definitely one of his favorite things. And so he lights up when he comes in the room follows him around the room with his eyes. It's been really cool to see where they were and where they are now. I think that if you have a dog right now and you have a newborn and your dog wants nothing to do with your baby, don't worry or think, oh my God, you know, our dog hates us now. What did we do to him? <laughs> because we definitely felt that way. And you know, at two in the morning when you have a screaming newborn, which naturally that happens, and your dog is looking at you <laughs> saying, what did you do? Don't worry, they, it will get better. Your dog will start to realize that this is a little baby human and that this is a new member of the family and they will begin to accept them into the family. One thing um, that we did was um, we, from the very beginning, have tried to teach Mac as he's getting more interested in wanting to grab him and reach out and pet him and things like that, is to explain to him to be gentle, just to make sure that you know he learns those things so he's not 
going around pulling on Henry and grabbing him. But another disclaimer I just wanted to say also was um, we very much trust Henry and I just want to make sure that you know when you're introducing a baby to a dog make sure that you trust the dog that you know the dog and um, you know you're not putting your baby in a dangerous situation but for us we were very comfortable introducing Mac to Henry and so that was something that we chose to do and we knew it would be okay for us I just want to say that just to be clear I think that it's really exciting to see as the time has gone on that their um, relationship has been changing and most recently I wanted to talk about something that we've been going through that I was reaching out to other moms um, in different Facebook groups and different things to see if they were going through a similar situation. You know, if you have any advice about this or just anything in general, um, definitely leave me a comment if you want to connect leave me a comment down below I'd love to connect and kind of create this community of moms and first-time moms trying to figure everything out so definitely do that I would love that yeah so the new thing that Henry is doing is he is so we well let me explain so we just recently it's been about two weeks that Mac has been sleeping in his own room in his nursery and this didn't even cross my mind until we were going through it and it happened that it would really affect Henry our dog and it's interesting because he um, it kind of coincided right when we decided to move him to our nursery to his crib to start sleeping in his own room in his crib was when Henry really began to create this bond with him um, and really fully accepted him into our family and kind of we call it into the pack. I think as that literally happened, we took Mac and we were like, okay, good night, puts him in a different room and Henry was like, oh my God, what are you crazy people doing? You can't have him sleep away from us. So, and we were like, you know what? So essentially, you know, obviously Henry didn't say that to us, but the way that he communicated that to us was now, we're still going through it, that every night when we go to bed, because obviously Matt goes to bed before us, is Henry ha has, gets very, nervous kind of looking around looking for the baby looking at the empty bassinet that we have in our room which I am planning to take down I think I'm still just a little nervous that he might have to switch back but he really I know that he won't I think it's just sort of a safety precaution that I'm like oh well maybe you know I don't know maybe he'll need to sleep a night in our room <laughs> it's me I just need to let it go but honestly <laughs> But because he's been sleep doing a really good job, I don't want to jinx it, but in his room. But yeah, I think that that kind of freaked Henry out. And he was sitting on the edge of our bed, looking into the empty bassinet, looking for him. And it's caused a little bit of a problem. So essentially what we have to do every night now is walk Henry, I take Henry into the baby's room, show him the baby, Henry sniffs the baby, sees that he's okay, and then we walk back to our room. He still gets a little uncomfortable, you know, why? Doesn't totally understand why is he sleeping in there, you know, and it's, and he. I think you can see it on his face, he's a little bit distressed, but he's starting, Every day I notice a little bit, a little bit, he's starting to slowly come to terms that it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so if you are going through that, I had never heard of this and um, just know we are going through it and it makes sense to me why he's doing that. I don't know if it's, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's totally normal, but <laughs> Henry is definitely not a normal dog, so. Henry?
so you know I think that and also we think it's kind of sweet and funny and I think that it'll pass once he realizes you know the routine now has changed to a different routine and so that's kind of where we are now so let me know if you guys have a dog if you guys have any tips but honestly it's been such a super fun experience introducing our baby to our dog Henry and I'm excited to share more of my life with you guys and showing you more of Henry he's a very big part of our life we take him everywhere with us and so I'm really happy that him and Mac are starting to form this bond and Hopefully it will just grow and grow and get stronger and I know that Mac and Henry will become the best of friends because honestly right now they I think do are a little bit obsessed with each other. They can't really, one can't really, or one can't really move because he can't walk or crawl. The other one, you know, it can't talk. <laughs> They're kind of their communications a little bit limited, but I know the love is there and I'm excited to see that kind of grow and be a part of that. So. Oh, who's that, I thought this would be a fun video to make and share our experience with Henry and what we're going through with our dog with you guys and yeah so hopefully I'm gonna try and get Henry to come film with me a little bit and see if I can get him in the video. Hi guys, so this is Henry. Hello Henry. This is Henry. He's very fluffy and puffy. And he loves treats. <laughs> Yay Henry! What do you think Henry? And he always looks like he's smiling. And as you can see, this is why we were telling Mac to be gentle because he has a lot of hair to grab onto. <laughs> Henry, okay. <laughs> All right, bye Henry. I hope that you enjoyed learning about our journey with our dog and our baby. And if you are having a tough time having your baby and dog connect, don't worry that our situation which I'm assuming your situation as well, could be constantly changing and will evolve. Thanks for listening to our journey and with our dog, Henry, and our baby. And I'll keep you guys updated on their progress. They seem to be evolving into having a really awesome, fun relationship, so I definitely would want to share that with you guys. And... I'm excited to see where that goes in the future. I am going to be making content every week, so if you're interested in watching videos about motherhood, lifestyle stuff, I bought a house, got married, got pregnant, had a baby, all within a year. Part of that, almost half of that during a pandemic, so. Yeah, um, I wanted to share my experiences and 
if you're interested in checking that out, I love to have you come with me on this journey. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.